Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here with another episode of City Skylines. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate you being here. Uh, like I said, we're back in Skylines, back in Fisher's Landing. And um, <clears throat> we're still kind of figuring out how to work the game. <laughs> like, it's uh, all these, uh, all the mods, the, the anarchy and the move it. And the, I don't think I'm taking as good advantage of, of move it as I could. I think I, I, there's a lot more I can do with it. And uh, I've been watching a lot of people play uh, Skylines on the old U YouTube lately. Just searching for tips and hints and oh, okay so that's how you do that and oh okay well that's how you do that one of the issues i'm having here is uh this whole map is not nearly as flat as i thought it was um granted i'm the one that made the map but never mind that <laughs> uh it's not nearly as flat as i thought it to be and i'm having a really big issue here with the decals not all showing up you can see here i have to fiddle and fiddle and fiddle i have to end up lowering the nodes of the roads um, quite a bit to get them to pop up <clears throat> and if I can get all three lots there to look good um, Then it's it's a miracle because it's it's a struggle to get those to work um, I'm still trying to figure out What exactly you can raise and lower like I guess props and decals you can raise and lower But not all of them. I, I don't I don't understand which things you can raise and lower and all that and If I don't have a mod that I need I don't I don't know but on this episode, again, we're starting, like I said, with a parking lot. Um, one of the things I've really noticed when doing the research for the, for this series, um, a lot of the, these cities uh, in the Midwest, especially these smaller ones, or I guess these ones that grew in the 20th, that, were, that didn't get big until like the 20th century, um, there's parking lots absolutely everywhere. Uh, down here in Houston, um, if you look at our downtown, it's like every other block is a parking lot. It's insane. But uh, my hometown, Chicago, not nearly as many parking lots. A lot of parking garages, but not nearly as many blocks devoted to parking. And I think that has to do with the how and when the city was built, uh, when it grew. Chicago has been around much longer and public transportation the L is an integral part of that city's development and has been for over a hundred years. Houston on the other hand didn't meet its boom until like the 50s uh, once air conditioning became fairly standard that's when Houston really started to grow and by that time most people had cars and uh, so there's no decent public transportation down here at all and I think that directly affects how a city I mean, it does, I don't think, but that's ex that's how it directly affects how a city uh, is planned and developed. Houston has way more parking spaces available for it because everybody drives. Every single person. Like, <laughs> okay, not every single person, but most people drive to work. They drive downtown. Um, as opposed to in Chicago, there's all kinds of public transportation. So in this city, in, in this city, I wanted to show that this is a newer-ish city in that it would have developed when uh when most people had cars and so it did not develop alongside um intercity or intra-city intra-city public transportation there's not going to be uh an elevated line here or a subway this this city wouldn't have it there'll be bus routes but i would assume they would not be uh used to their maximum efficiency like the buses here in houston they don't seem to be all that most people don't ride them it's really interesting. Like in Chicago, you'll see all walks of life riding the bus. But in Houston, not nearly as much. So uh, here we are uh, working again on... Oh, look, look, look. More parking lots. Mmm, delish. <laughs> I am parking lotted out. But unfortunately, I still have a lot more to add. So uh, I might not record those or at least not include them in the next episode because I don't know how, how, how many episodes of parking lots everybody can, can sit through. For me, I think um, one is my, <laughs> is my maximum. So, but I wanted to have some large parking spots uh, around the, um, the uh, arena here, the United Center. I wanted to have a big uh, park, a couple big parking lots because that's exactly what you would have. I also th think, I, I'm pretty sure I threw in a parking garage. Um, 
just when you look from above, it, it's always staggering to see how much land is devoted to parking in, in near these large arenas and stuff. So, yeah, so the United Center, that's an awesome structure. I love that asset. Uh, I've been to the United Center a few times. Um, never for a basketball game. Lived in Chicago, lived there, and grew up in the 90s with Michael Jordan and all that, and I never once went to a Bulls game. Never been to a Blackhawks game. The only time I ever went to the United Center was, like, for the circus. <laughs> the circus would come to town, and it would play at the United Center. Or play. Does the circus play? I don't know. But anyway, that's not about what we're doing here. But again, it's just parking lots, so there's not much for me to say. So... Uh, if again, if 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 you're still kind of new to the channel, uh, this is what I do. I like to ramble and tell random stories about random things that are just ran sort of tangentially um, connected to what's going on on the screen. Occasionally, when something worth talking about is up there, I don't worry, I'll talk about it. But I do like to veer off topic on the regular. I think it creates a little more interest to sit here and listen to me prattle on for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So. Here, uh, I had some extra space. One of the things that was interesting is, is one of the things I also struggle with is breathing room in these downtown blocks, leaving room for parking and leaving like in these developed areas. Like the whole block isn't developed. Most of the time, from the images I've been looking at, most of the area is not developed. So throwing in some simple decals here to kind of give this little area some life. I've realized after I went back into the city today to record the, um, the cinematics after I had done all this work and I'd sat on it for a few days, uh, I realized how clean the city looks. And it's supposed to be, a, you know, like a smaller kind of, not run down, but nobody's downtown would be this pristine. So I need to go back in with decals and really kind of mess everything up. I do add some trash and some dumpsters, and, you know, I ideas of it, but I think I can do more. And I don't think it'll hurt the... Um, prop limits or anything like that from everything i've been watching from people apparently uh, the frame rate's going to take a major dive here in like an episode or two <laughs> basically once we open it to peeps uh to citizens which by the way i think in the next episode or two we'll, we'll get into that uh, i'm getting kind of bored with not seeing any cars driving around uh, that will mean though that i'll have to go on to the workshop and get some custom cars because i want to have american car i want to do it right i want to have an actual american city so i'll probably remove most if not all of the games uh in-game cars and replace them with um custom cars so i hear that's a drain on your system but eh, we'll give it we'll give it the old college try and see what happens so this street here, uh, well, maybe this street here, the street that is the last developed headed towards the river, I wanted it to be a little bit fancier um, condos and stuff, so a little bit like higher, a little bit taller buildings, a little bit swankier, kind of like uh, South Michigan Avenue, if you're familiar with that. And uh, that's kind of what I was going for with that. Some older buildings, but they're taller and they're fancier and they're kept up nice. And then on the other side, near the edge of the downtown, I wanted to start looking at getting maybe a revitalized industrial area, like an old part of the city that <clears throat> at one point was an industrial area that's now either lofts or, you know, it's, it's becoming revitalized. But again, I am running into a major issue with, terraf with terraforming. I, it's killing me. So hopefully I will remedy that. Uh, and as we progress here, it won't be quite so bad. This little corner here, this little round chunk, I didn't know what to do with this at all. It is such an awkward space, and I thought that was way too much pavement <laughs> to devote to a single gas station. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I, I like the gas station there, and I like kind of what we do with the area around it, but I'm not sure I'm 100% sold on it yet, so... Hopefully you can uh, tell me what you think if you like it or if you think it needs some tweaking and all that. I'm I'm always I'm always open to suggestions and feedback, but just know that um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I take your feedback on, and sometimes I say thank you, but that's not really what I had in mind. So. <laughs> uh, but you're always more than welcome to tell me what you think would, would, would work best. And with Skyline, something that I'm still trying to, to, to wrap my head around, I'm probably way more... I am, I, well, I know I'm way more in need of, of your suggestions and help. So, yeah. Uh, dressing up this little area here. Again, trying to break up this massive swath of concrete, making it look like a couple different lots 
you know, that, that kind of function is one, I guess. This curved building, I love it, but I couldn't find anywhere for it to go. <laughs> like, I really like it. I think it's a really cool, cool little building. I just, it didn't fit anywhere all that well. Like, I, ah, you can see I'm just really struggling with it. So I think I end up leaving it there and just moving some other things around to make it work. Um, so, yeah, that's really... <clears throat> That's about all I have to say for <laughs> for this episode. So uh, it, I'm going to let the music come up. And if I think of anything else, maybe we'll talk a little bit more once we start developing something else. So for now, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the uh, the time lapse and the tunes. And uh, I'll be back near the end to, uh, to sign off. I decided to do a come back here for the last like minute uh one of the things i actually didn't get recorded and i feel so bad about it is um i did this like abandoned lot with like this old like so it's all beat up with falling apart fencing and stuff and it's one of the first cinematics in this ep at the end of the episode and i'm i don't know where it went i swore i recorded it but i guess i didn't have the footage for it so apologies for that hopefully you enjoy that that's coming up in just a few seconds so that's gonna do it for this second episode uh i want to finish downtown and get into other things so <laughs> hopefully that'll be coming up real soon so thanks so much for watching there's that abandoned uh there's that abandoned lot that I really do enjoy. So hopefully you enjoy it too. Like I said, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever. And uh, I'll talk to you real soon for the next episode of City Skylines. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>